It's a bearded one. Uh, I'm not back with another beard review. This is more of an adjunct video, pun intended. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk about my Christmas beer haul. Uh, I didn't have the greatest beer uh, haul in the world, which is fine. Uh, I love my family none the, nonetheless. It doesn't really matter what I get for Christmas, just that I spent time uh, with my friends and family and loved ones anyways. But um, I thought it was pretty cool, the gifts I got. I just wanted to share them. And then I've got an extra gift uh, that I, I, I bought it a couple months ago. Uh, but I just want to share it anyways, just because uh, maybe it'll give you guys some uh, some ideas on gifts for the future. Who knows? So this first one uh, I opened up. Um, I opened up this particular piece of glassware that's got a lot of writing on it. I don't know if you can see it real well. I'll try to put it up real close. Hopefully the phone will stay dialed in. Um, I don't guess it matters if you can read the small etching here. But basically, you see, this is like the name of a cocktail. And, and like, like for instance, this. This is lager. Alright. Like, for instance, this one says Lager Forever Rita Taco Tuesday. So that's the name of the cocktail I'd be making. And then this whole section right here. Uh, is the ingredients and I'm, I'm not too terribly sure but I think I could fill it up to each line and that would give me exact measurements but I'm not I'm not too sure so don't quote me on that if you have this piece of glass as well you know here's one red eye the, the picker upper um, for instance the red eye had it says Stir your drink up, uh, gently add 10 ounces of lager, uh, add one ounce of vodka, five ounces of tomato juice, and chill your pint glass. So it comes with directions and then, you know, stuff like that. And then also, well, this is really cool. I have ounces and milliliters uh, etched into the cup. So this is just a really practical cup. Um, I don't know if any of these are, uh, well-known beer cocktails. Um, I'll just rattle them off. It comes with half of this black and tan, half of that. So that's one cocktail. Uh, Brass Monkey, Indubitably Funky. Strike First, Snake Bite, Strike Hard, No Mercy. Uh, we went over Red Eye and Lagarita. Um. The Rattler, it's a dandy shandy, and then hop, skip, and go naked summer loving. So those are the cocktails I get, uh, the recipes on my cup. It also has uh, etching in the bottom. Um, I if it... Yeah, it doesn't have a website or anything. I figured it would have, you know, some marketing for the website. I think I want to look look this up. And maybe uh, get some more. Maybe there, there's some more of these cocktail glasses on there. But that's really cool. Um, I plan on in the future. I don't know if it'll be right away. I, I do have a liquor cabinet. So maybe maybe I could get some beers and experiment a little bit uh, with, with these recipes. Um, but yeah... Uh, I, I think uh, I do. I'm going to try out all the recipes on this glass and uh, just make a little ad, adjunct uh, beer cocktail series for the channel. I think that would be real fun. Um, so, Natalie, if you ever watch this, uh, thanks for my glass. I'll put that right over here. And then uh, the other Christmas gift I got is tasting beer. Um, by Randy Mosher, and it has a Ford by Ray Daniels. Uh, Ray Daniels in, uh, invented the Cicerone program. It's a uh, professional uh, beer certification program uh, designed to help you um, further your career in beer. 
obviously if you wanted to be a Cicerone as a hobby, which I plan to take the Cicerone program sometime next year, uh, at least just past the first uh, part. And it's got a forward by Sam Calagione. I don't know how to say his last name. Calagione? I don't know. Calagione? I'm not sure. It sounds Italian. Um, but yeah, it's Tasting Beer and Insider's Guide to the World's Greatest Drink. Um, it's got beer history. Here, let's just look at the table of contents here. It tells a story of beer. It talks about sensory evaluation. Um, it has brewing, beer, and vocabulary. Uh, it talks about tasting and judging uh, beers. Uh, the anatomy of style. And it talks about different styles. Uh, and then it's got some uh, other things in here as well. Uh, So yeah, and then one thing, I kind of dove into it and read a little bit earlier. I just wanted to show you guys. And it says, don't even consider starting this book without a beer in your hand. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Randy Mosher, he's um, he's kind of like um, the next guy I'm going to, the next guy of the book I, I bought a couple months ago. Uh, but he's like, he's like a, a journalist, a beer evangelist. He's known as in the industry. And, uh, I think it's going to be a real good book. Um, yeah, my sister got it for me for Christmas. Uh, it's actually the second edition. So, uh, it is updated. Um, and I'm hoping to dig through this book and maybe have some material for, for the beard cast, you know. Because I don't really have an outline for for the beard cast, and I was gonna make it a monthly show, and I didn't have it quite enough time uh, to really get around to it and do it right for the month of November. So um, I'm hoping this book. I have something planned for December for the beard cast, so I'm hoping I can get uh, a beard cast episode up uh, sooner or later, within the next couple of weeks. And uh, I'm hoping this book will help me um, just inspire me to have some content for the for the beard cast. And then this one is just um, it's how to brew. It's by John Palmer. Uh, it's a very technical read. I mean, there's not a lot of pictures in this. Uh, well, I just came by some pictures, but you can see how it's just uh, it's just. It reads like a manual. You got all these charts and stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't really want to go through uh, the technicalities of it. But John Palmer is a brilliant, smart man um, who really knows the science and engineering of brewing. And he's on a podcast with uh, Jamil Zanishef, uh part of the Brewing Network. And... Um, it's called Brew Strong, and it, you know, and it's just a lot of information out there. And if you're in, if you're interested in home brewing, um, I can't recommend this enough. This this book should be thought of more as a resource, a textbook, than uh, like just a casual read, like tasting, you know, tasting beer. You, know, you can open up tasting beer, and there's fun pictures, you know. It's just, it's supposed to be, this is supposed to be designed as, as um, a catch-all beer book. So, yeah, though, though, that's what I got for Christmas with another gift out there. Um, if I have time, I'm going to try and do a quick beer review. Um, if not, I'll be dropping some later tonight. I uh, hope everybody's out there having a safe, responsible Christmas. Um, hopefully safe in your homes. And uh, until next time.